Hello and welcome to today's new episode. Today we'll be transiting the Panama Canal, an artificial waterway that connects the Atlantic Ocean with the Pacific Ocean. Enjoy! One of the largest and most difficult engineering projects ever undertaken, the Panama Canal shortcut greatly reduces the time for ships to travel between the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean. The earliest record related to a canal across the Isthmus of Panama was in 1534, when Charles V, the Holy Roman Emperor and King of Spain, ordered a survey for a route through the Americas in order to ease the voyage for ships travelling between Spain and Peru. The Spanish were seeking to gain a military advantage over the Portuguese. The weather in Panama is very consistent and you will always find sunny days. But today, from nice and sunny, it turned out to rainy. So eventually we will have to navigate our vessel into rain inside the Panama Canal. Due to the bad weather and due to Covid on the left hand side, there were no people available, tourists to have a look on the ships passing. Usually when you pass by, they start waving and you wave back to them and it's a very nice interaction. Did you know that in order an LNG carrier to pass the Panama Canal, it needs to pay a fee of about 600,000 US dollars? Isn't that a big amount? The fee includes local tax regulations plus the piloted service which is offered by the pilots. So in regards to the canal first pilot, did you know that his name was John Constantine and he was Greek? On the 15th of August 1914, the steamship Anken was painted, polished, scrubbed and with the flags of all nations fluttering in the early morning breeze, she casted off from Pier 9 in Cristobal, Panama. She headed outwards towards the Atlantic Ocean where at the entrance to the canal she came about and headed back towards the Pacific on her history-making voyage at the first ship to transit the canal on the official opening day. Piloting the Ancon on that festive occasion was Captain John Constantine, the most colourful and well-known pilot the canal has yet known. His fame rests not just on the fact that he was the first to take a ship through the canal, but upon his professional skill and his own unique personality. It was this combination that made him well known not only locally, but in ports worldwide where ship handlers got together to swap tails. In 1943, the United States Maritime Commission named a Liberty ship John Constantine after him, and the Panama Canal Company pilot launch also bears his name. The Panama Canal Pilots Association is currently polling the membership on the possibility of changing the name of its building in his honour. During our transit, we pass totally three bridges which connect the northwest with the southeast. The first one was the Atlantic Bridge, then the Sentential one, and the last one, which you will see later on, is the Bridge of the Americas, the last one built back in 2004. In order to transit the canal, you will need about 10 to 12 hours depending the weather conditions. Various speeds are maintained during the passage, most commonly those about 10 to 12 knots where the vessel can maneuver very very easily and can slow down if need and stop the engines. The pilots are always on board and they will guide you through the total length of the canal. The communication language during pilotage 
is English. The main importance of using the Panama Canal is that you minimize the transit time through the Cape Horn where you can experience very, very bad weather conditions. So you will spend more time in order to go to your destination port. If you go through the canal, of course you will experience fair weather conditions, less time and your cargo will be delivered on time without any delays. So that is the main reasons of transiting the canal. Captain Anonfa here is a pilot who is uh, transit us through the uh, channel and through the locks. It's the second time that I meet him. Last time I met him with the Methane Alice in Victoria two years ago, and now with the Gaslog Wales. So we are at the end, and now he has two more locks to take us out and head out to the ocean. Well, uh, uh, Lisa Fletcher will be second time here, here and now in the Gaslog Wales lock. Here, and here, you, see, you can see we are in the new locks. Transiting, we are the second one. We are almost in the Pacific Sea, so you are more than welcome to continue passing the Panama Canal and we are more than willing to give the best to us. So we are a little rainy, but the weather was okay. And well, we are almost in one, about one hour to clear here. So this is the new locks and then the west side, you will see on the east, the old locks. So this is the uh, uh, Tokoli locks. And you can see from here the Balboa Port, Rockland Port, and the American Bridge. So, more than welcome to Panama. Uh, for me, it's a second pleasure to be here. And come yes. also next time we meet without masks. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we are okay. that. Without masks. Yeah, we, no, we don't stop, we continue working. And we hopefully it's finished soon. Yes. During pilotage, I have to follow the pilot orders and of course I have to agree with them in order to navigate the vessel inside the locks. We have a total number of four tugboats which are currently made fast on our deck and the vessel is proceeding easy easy in the second lock. The bridge is manned and uh, through my walkie talkie I speak out the orders of the pilot and the officer of the watch proceeds with the orders. For crash check I monitor the indicators on my port side, on my left hand side, in order to establish that the orders are correctly executed. Right, this is the uh, first lock that we just came through here at the uh, Kokoli um, locks near to the Pacific Ocean. It's getting flooded up in order for the next ship to come in and transit. So we've got one more to go, um, which is here. Yep, and hopefully we're going to head out to the ocean.
So this was the end for today's episode. I hope you liked it. In case you have a seafarer friend who hasn't transited the Panama Canal, please share the video, comment and subscribe to my channel and hope you enjoy. Till next week, stay safe, all the best, bye bye.